Welcome. In this video, we will learn how to do advanced accounting on reference. To get started, we will have to sync our accounting documents such as invoices, credit notes, debit notes, etc. Firstly, go to the business settings, advanced accounting options and click on the checkbox to sync all the documents. To confirm, click on sync selected. Within a few seconds, your documents will sync. Once the sync is done, the system will automatically create ledger accounts and pass the journal entries in the respective vouchers. That means 90% of your accounting work will get automated. For example, I raised this invoice towards Takinoya Electronics. You can check the journal below. This will automatically create a Takinoya Electronics account under Accounts Receivable Accounts Group and automatically update the respective Takinoya Electronics account and Reference Invoice Credit account, which will be your sales account. You can even check the same via one click. Your voucher entry is created in Reference Invoice Voucher Book with a note for your reference. Similarly, when you record a payment for the given invoice, you can select the payment account to show the effect of the payment in the chosen ledger account which in this case is the cash account. Now let's come to advanced accounting under which we have three sections, vouchers, accounts and account groups. Let's start with account groups. Account groups are the categories under which your accounts can be classified like account payable, bank accounts, capital accounts, etc. Reference has created default account groups. To generate a new account group, click on create new account group Add the name, type, and category. For example, let's create a furniture account group. Here we will write the name and its respective category, which will be fixed assets. Click Submit. Your furniture account group is created. Next, let's go through the accounts dashboard. Reference has created default standard accounts for you. You can edit them from here or create a new account from here. Let's say you have to create an expense account, say travel expense account. Select the account group and this will go into indirect expenses. And if you create an account with opening balances, you can add the opening balance amount here as well. If you have managed your accounts at another platform before, you can export the same in CSV file and then upload it here to have all your accounts on reference. Just click on Upload CSV and download the sample file to get a standard format. Arrange your data as per the format and the CSV file shown here and upload the same. If your CSV file contains any error, it will show to you here. But if it doesn't have any errors, then all your accounts will be uploaded here in a few minutes. Next, we come to Voucher Books. Here too, you will find the default 11 voucher books. You can create a new voucher book by clicking on this button and edit the existing ones from here. Now let's say you bought some machinery via cash. This entry will go in journal box. Just click on create new entry, add a gig, add your transaction narration here in the note. Next, debit your machinery account. You can add related remarks and the amount Similarly, credit your cash account. You can enter new line items from here. Once done, click on Submit. You can also create reverse entries with just one click. And to get your accounting reports, click on Accounting and Accounting Reports. Just select a date range. You will find summary reports of the same. Below. You will find detailed reports of account receivables, account payables, other reports and bookkeeping reports that consist of balance sheets, PNL and other essential reports. That's it. See you in the next video.